already know, I've been working on a research project uh, using my students as uh, the subjects for the research. The research is, um, is uh, based on uh, differentiated instruction. Um, and the 10 minute video will conclude and will complete uh, the uh, research um, study and so I can earn in a master's degree uh, from um, Concordia University. So I want to thank you for being here. Okay, and I'm going to go over the first slide, which is uh, the study was conducted to determine if um, differentiated instruction increased reading comprehension and accelerated language acquisition to second language learners. So I will, the next, the next slide will tell you what, will describe to you what differentiated instruction is. Okay, what is differentiated instruction? There are <clears throat> a lot of definitions to what it is, differentiated instruction, but one of the best definitions, it will be this, and it comes from Carol Ann Thompson. She is being a researcher and a pioneer on, on uh, differentiated instruction. And um, this is what she wrote in, a mag in, a, in one of her books and in an article too. Uh, differentiated instruction, it is a teaching philosophy based on the premise that teachers should adapt instruction to students' differences. The curriculum instruction should be modified to meet students' readiness, learning preference, and interest. Therefore, the teacher proactively plans a variety of ways to get at and express learning. Uh, and that's by Carol Ann Collinson. Uh, basically, what, um, what she's saying is that with the teacher should differentiate Based on based on the students' readiness and interests and the way they learn, different ways that they learn, and that's that's what pretty much my research project was based on. Um, I totally agree with her on, um, on this particular one, and I will I will proceed telling you. Um, Why we differentiate, okay? Um, again, this is from Carolyn Thompson, a pioneer on, on differentiated instruction. Uh, the diverse population of learners, there is not a one size fits all. Differentiated instruction allows teacher to meet the students where they are. And, oh, you cannot be further from the truth. It's some of you already witnessed, have witnessed. Um, um, and what she's saying is that we uh, that not all students learn the same way. They have different uh, ways of learning. And by differentiating instruction, we can meet their their uh, their needs, and that way we can accelerate them and, and, and uh, academically. So in order to do the research, I had to have an essential question myself, which is considered to be my research question. And, and this, this is what, this question is the one that guided me through, through my whole, um, to my whole uh, study. And I asked myself, will the use of differentiated instruction increase reading comprehension and accelerate language acquisition to my English language learner? So that was my research question. Followed by, and um, so having the question in mind, I I asked myself, how am I, how, how am I going to differentiate it? What, 
what am I going to differentiate? So the first thing I did is kind of differentiating the content. The content, it is the subject. It is what the students are going to learn. And um, the strategies, strategies that I used was a small group instruction, various nonfiction texts, and tier grouping uh, centers. Tier grouping is when a teacher um, groups the students according to the, <coughs> excuse me, according to the um, uh, learning abilities. You know, the high, high, high kids with the high, high kids, and middle kids with the middle kids. Um, and that's what basically tier grouping means. And that's one of the strategies that I use um, on differentiating the content of it. Okay, I also started, um, I needed to differentiate the process of it. Um, and the process is the how, how what's going to differentiate. And one of the ways I did it is, um, well the question says it, differentiating strategies, I use this formula. Um, measurable objectives plus thinking skills based upon Bloom's taxonomy plus depth and complexity icons, plus thinking organizer, organizers and active participation. So I use the formula for it. That's, what, that's one of my uh, teaching practices here too. Um, okay, uh, thinking skills based on Bloom's taxonomy, as you will see on this, I, those are some of the verbs that I use for uh, Bloom's verbs that I use uh, for the for the students to apply it into the reading and writing, and I also combine them with uh, uh, the uh, uh, icons. And I will speak about the icons in a few minutes. And so this is one of the ways that we use Bloom's taxonomy. They always have visuals on their classroom. Okay, and also I differentiated the product. The product is the output. How they're gonna demonstrate what they learned. How I'm gonna differentiate the product for them. So uh, they did uh, oral and written reports. Um, when they do the, uh, the uh, oral reports, they use the microphones. They have display charts showing the application of the icons. They have uh, pictures, timelines, video, Questions and answers from interviews. Um, so that was that was one of the ways I differentiated the product. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here because I think there's only a couple of minutes left. Uh, the resources that uh, we use here is the internet. Was the internet school and, and neighborhood library, newspaper articles, magazines, pictures and drawings, and um, Discovery Channel. Okay, the assessments that I applied to the, uh, the research study was an on ongoing anecdotal notes. I did a lot of observational uh, checklist, checklists. I have, on a daily basis, I have teacher-student conference, uh, oral response to tasks, uh, written report and rubrics, uh, weekly unit tests, and comparison to pre- and post-reading comprehension bench benchmarks. Um, so I'm going back to my essential question. Will the use of differentiated instruction increase reading comprehension and accelerate language acquisition to my second language learners? And this is my answer and my conclusion to my, to my study. Uh, the effectiveness of my differentiated instruction was measured by student achievement on multiple assessments and these what and this study conducted with differentiated instruction did have an overall effectiveness at a significant level. This I X in my first graders reading at majority reading at the end of second um, grade, and um, and about a small group of them uh, they exit first grade or graduate first grade reading at the middle of second grade. So I want to thank you for being here. Um, do you have any questions about the question? So 
So uh, differentiated instructions is using not only the icons, but it's also using, uh, it's based on uh, Bloom's taxonomy, is that right? Correct, they are combined. Yeah. Uh, combined is that's, a, that's a very powerful way of, of teaching because uh, what it does, it uh, forces the students to focus on something, an idea, a concept, uh, so that they, they get more learning from their reading that way. It, it, it has to do, it's like, it's like asking a student to step in the classroom and you don't tell them what to look for and then he walks out of the classroom and you ask him, well, what did you see on the walls? He can't respond Correct. because yes. there's no focus. So differentiated instructions has got to work because it focuses you. Totally agree with you. Yeah. Um, any, any questions about it? Um, comments uh, about differentiated instruction they have work that you have witnessed in the past? You must definitely have witnessed with the students um, from last year's class. And um, the differentiated instruction most definitely, I believe, works. As um, Mr. Martinez has stated, gives, uh, with my son directly, I had given him something to focus on and to elaborate on. So he could take it from there and with what his ideals and his unanswered questions were, I think it really opened up a window that was like outside of the box, it's not just being taught to think in one fashion or one way, that it allowed him to be creative and think outside of the box.